Hi, this is Robin Bremer, and uh, this is for my VIPs, because they're special people, and I want to be able to take you deeper into the things of God. And today I want to share with you, <clears throat> my cat wants to get, my cat always wants to get up here when I am preaching and sharing the Word of God, and then she gets so mean <laughs> when I put her down. <laughs> See how mean she's getting. Um, anyway, I want to share with you something that God woke me up with this morning. He was talking to me about how we need to get hungry enough to have the baptism of fire. And <clears throat> let me, he basically he showed me that he came to earth to give us a baptism, not just for that, but he wanted to start a fire, as he said. He wanted to have a baptism of fire. And he needed to empower us, and that's how he empowered us. So I wanted to take you back to the Old Covenant and show you, well, he actually wanted me to, he showed me and then told me to show you, to take you back to the Old Covenant and to show you how your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit, how you have the power in you to shift atmospheres, to change situations and circumstances in your business, in your ministry, in your community, and in your life. First of all, if you go to Second Chronicles 5.13, uh, it talks about how when uh, Solomon had, was uh, uh, done with a temple and how he he got all the singers and all the people together and this is what he did he was done with the temple so now he was going to dedicate it dedicate it so he had them singing he had them praising and he had them doing thanksgiving and what happened when they were doing that is the glory he said the way it was phrased is a cloud filled the temple and then another sentence later, it says that the glory filled the temple, that the priests could not even minister and stand to minister because of the glory filling the temple. And we are the temple. And so one of the key things to getting into God's presence and walking in God's power is to always have an a, um, attitude a thankfulness of praise and worship. I tell you, I can get into God's presence in a second just by thinking of how awesome and wonderful and good He is. He is just so much fun. Now, if you go to 2 Chronicles 7, 1, it says the same thing. It talks about the glory. And then it says not only did the glory come, but the fire came. <clears throat> so if you look at Matthew 3, 11, it says that Jesus will baptize you with fire, or that the Holy Spirit will baptize you with fire. Okay, John came preaching, repent, be baptized, uh, be baptized in the water for the forgiveness of sin. Nothing like that was ever preached. In order for them to, the Jews to be forgiven of their sins, they had to, um, they had to sacrifice an animal, because blood was always required. And so when John said, I'll be baptized in water for the repentance of your sin, that was something totally new. And so when Jesus stepped in there, he paved, John the Baptist paved the way for Jesus. So Jesus could say, okay, not water baptism, but even more deeper, fire baptism. And that's Matthew 3.11. Then in Luke 12.49, Jesus said, I have come to send fire on earth. And the baptism of fire. And he goes, and oh, how I wish it was already kindled. And because Jesus knew how important it was to have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit and fire. Um, the, the angels that are around about the throne are, are called on fire. Uh, they're fire angels. If you ever heard of Kat Kerr speak, uh, God has given her the commission to teach about heaven, to share about heaven. And he has taken her in the last 15 years... He has taken her to heaven hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of times. And she comes back and shares and she records it, what she has discovered in heaven. She even has scientific proof of this, uh, that people who have died on earth and she's been uh, taken up to heaven and allowed to witness the things that they say and then comes back, finds those people's parents or relatives and confirms everything. That yes, this is something they always said. Yes, this is what they look like and yes and so on. So, uh, just to tell, just to, to let you know that, but uh, Jesus said, I've come to send fire on the earth, and that is so important. And the, she said that the angels, Kat Kerr said that the angels, she has some pictures of them, 
Um, they're called fire angels, and they bring fire to all the different cities. And I thought that was really awesome. I have some of her. She was kind enough to be a guest blogger on, on my website, so there's two different posts, one about angels and one about supernatural. In fact, uh, in my book, uh, 80 Facts and Truths About Angels, Angels, 80 Facts and Truths, uh, Kat Kerr has a section in there that uh, she allowed me to interview her that's in the book, so that's pretty cool. And then Acts 2, it says that uh, tongues of fire sat on each person as they were filled with the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit and fire go together. And you are the temple that carries the fire today. And that's really what I want to get across to you, that God showed me to get across to you. James 3, 6 says that our tongue is the fire, is a fire. It's, the tongue is a fire. And then it says, no, no man can tame it. No man can tame the tongue. It's full of deadly poison. But guess what? Guess what? Jesus did. Jesus did. God did. Because he filled us with the Holy Spirit and power. The fire of the Holy Spirit. This is so cool. He filled us with the fire of the Holy Spirit. And says, those who believe these signs shall follow. They shall speak with new tongues. And you know why we speak with new tongues? Because death and life is in the power of our mouth. Everything in this world is created by words of our mouth. Our whole situation, everything we have is created with words. If we declare, if we partner with God by saying the words that He says, doing the things that He says, we are partnering with Him. And, and we have a new tongue. But something else too, I want to challenge you. This is going to be a really hard challenge, but it changed my life, and I know it'll change your life. I was the kind of person that I was so full of fear that when I was in the military, they told me to go get in the line and get a shot. I, by the time I got up to it being like three people before my turn, I about passed out. I was so full of fear. I turned around, I went to my commanding officer, and I said, I can't get a shot. I'm sick. He said, get back there and get a shot. <clears throat> and I had to go back and get a shot. But... I would listen to, uh, all through my life I was fearful and didn't really realize it until I came to a place where I got so fearful listening to when we first started getting the terrorist alerts and the terrorist stuff started happening. I got so fearful every time I turned on the TV because the alert would go up. And our church at that time began to have a fast for 30 days. And God told me to fast TV. So I fasted TV for 30 days, and I never, ever, ever went back. And it's been seven, seven, eight, nine, about seven, eight, six, seven, somewhere in their years. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I have never gone back. I watch videos. I watch Netflix. I watch, um, that's about it, videos, Netflix, and some stuff on YouTube. But I hate, 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 hate with a passion TV. I was in Subway yesterday, and they had the TV on, and I just cringed. I couldn't wait to get out of there because I, I didn't. I said, God, what, why do I hate this so much? He says, because TV creates an atmosphere. Every spoken word, every thought creates an atmosphere. And when TV is on, it, it only gets attention when something really, really bad is happening or something really good is happening. And news is reporting bad stuff that has already happened, or bad stuff that's already going to happen. They hardly ever report anything good. And so news creates an atmosphere of fear because it's words words going out into the atmosphere. And um, also listen to Kat Kerr. When she went to heaven, God show, showed her about our words that when we listen to or speak any words that are the same as God, like by the stripes of Jesus I have been healed, that is, is partnering with God. And when we agree with Him and decree and declare what God says about us or confess it, we are partnering with God and, and that changes the atmosphere around us and around our home. And Because everything was created with words. This physical realm was created with the spirit realm, which are words. And so it's so important. And at the end of this video, I'm going to throw a challenge out for you. But um, back to this... Uh, do not 
waste your time watching TV, especially the news. You do not know what's happening. I guarantee you, if you get away from it and, and break off that spirit, you will no longer desire it. In fact, you will cringe and you will hate it. Uh, because if you think about it, what's on TV? Everything that is opposed against God. Um, gay marriages, being good and right, um, satanic worship, the occult. See, the cult is a copy of the real thing. The cult is a copy of the supernatural, which belongs to the Christian. And the cult takes the original thing and twists it and turns it. The cult copies the things that the Christians can do in the supernatural realm, but the, per, the thing that leads the occult that makes it so dangerous is it's, it's demons and devils are deceiving the people who are involved in the occult. And in fact, if an angel comes to you and takes you to heaven, hallelujah, thank you, but ask the angel one question. This is an angel test. Ask the angel, and the Bible says this, test the spirits. So obviously spirits will come to us and talk to us. And angels, he says, test the spirits. Say, do you believe that Jesus Christ was the Son of God who came to earth in the flesh? And if they, if they are not from God, they will disappear. If they are from God, they'll say yes. And if they want to take you to heaven, then go to heaven. Or go wherever they want to take you. But test them. If they tell you a message or tell you something, always test them first. They won't get offended because they love Jesus. They know the truth. Um, they will not get offended. So, anyway, um, I want to throw out this challenge to you. Now, my Vipers are for... My Vipers, my VIP subscription members are for only for people who are really serious, who are really hungry, who had enough of where they're at in their business, in their ministry, in their life. They want to be used of God. They want to walk in the supernatural. They want to experience the Bible. They want to have a relationship that they can see, hear, feel, and touch God. They want to believe by faith everything in the Bible. They want to get people healed. They want to raise the dead. They want to cast out demons. They want to multiply the fish. They want to uh, create water where there's no water. Those are the people I'm talking to. Those are my vipers. Those are you, okay? Because you have to be hungry to go into the deeper things of God. You have to be tired of where you're at and you want to go further. <clears throat> and that is my whole goal and my whole purpose is to show you how to go deeper, how to get into God's presence, how to move in the supernatural things of God, how to experience the angels, how to raise the dead and heal the sick. And it's a lot of fun. I tried seven times to raise the dead. I haven't risen any dead yet. Three of them I touched, held hands with, um, and I uh, didn't really have, I've only had like three minutes with some of them because the parents were coming in and I didn't want to freak anybody out. So you have to be really sensitive um, to things like that. And I would really advise, advise you that um, if you want to raise the dead and heal the sick, first of all, you have to start praying for the sick. Every time you hear somebody, my key is, if I go into a store, Walmart or somewhere, and someone says, oh, my back hurts, that's my cue that I can do something about it, and I pray for them. Because sometimes you'll get to the, the devil will do this. You go to Walmart, and you'll see somebody in a wheelchair and crutches, and everywhere you go, you'll feel guilty for not wanting to pray for everybody that you see. And the devil will put that on you. Well, you got the power inside of you to change this person's crutches. Why don't you do it? Well, you could, but if you start feeling condemned about that, most likely it's the devil condemning you. Uh, because you and God need to set up a system. My system was, if they say that they're feeling bad, then that's my cue that I can change it. I can change the situation. But I, in general, don't walk around Walmart and see somebody in a wheelchair and go up and say, can I pray for you? Uh, because I have things to do, and, and that person might not be willing, that person might not be ready, that person might knock me out or whatever. So it's not even saying that I'm led by the Spirit, because God said that I can raise anybody from the dead that I want to, except if he tells me not to. And basically, he never said, don't try to heal everybody, don't heal everybody. It's just, I said to him, God, I'm feeling overwhelmed, what should I do? And he says, well, when they say to you, I hurt here, or this problem, or that problem, then is your cue, they have opened up the door 
for your help by saying that. So that's my cue, meaning that I can go and say, hey, you know what? God loves you, and he has a plan and a purpose for your life, and I want to pray for you because I know he doesn't want you back to hurt. So I grow out the arms or the legs, or if it's in Walmart and they're the cashier, I quietly pray for him. I don't bow my head most of the time. I don't close my eyes most of the time. I look him right in the eye and talk to him. And uh, I speak creative body parts in them if they need it, uh, whatever. So my challenge to you, I've been on rabbit tra trails here, excuse me, my challenge to you is pray about this. And if you really are really, really hungry, you really want to make a, a difference because we're going to get into some dark times and it's now that you need to start practicing. It's now that you have to start getting into God's presence so that you're not in fear because you're the one that's going to bring peace. You're the one that's going to bring the answer because light is only light in darkness. So it's going to get darker. We're not going to get raptured out of, out of here as soon as everybody's preaching. What's going to happen is the church is going to begin to stand up. You and me, people who are hungry, are going to begin to stand up and start walking God's presence and power and peace and purpose. And we are going to be the ones to bring light and hope and raise the dead, cast out demons, turn water into wine, bring joy, whatever. We are going to be the ones. But if we aren't practicing it now, when it gets really bad, um, we're going to get stressed. So now is the time to get focused on living a supernatural life. And my challenge to you is, and pray about this, fasting, but fast this. Newspapers, magazines, TV, negative people, you got to get away from them. you got to get away from them and start decreeing and declaring what God says about you, what your purpose is, what your passion is, what you are pursuing in God. Learn about the kingdom of God. Learn the system and the method and learn how to walk in that dominion and that power. And that's what I'm all about. That's what I'm teaching. I'm putting out for my VIPs at least one video a, a week. If I can handle more, I will, but I'm not going to be overburdened by it. Um, I am just started my Viper, so I don't have a whole lot on there with this video, which now it's in January, the end of January. Uh, so we're real brand new at this. I just decided instead of going out there and figuring out ways to make money and packaging my stuff, I, I, God said, no, it's about the people. He said, charge $10 and teach them how to get deep in me and teach them because the $10 will put value on it and only those who are really, really hungry and serious will pay the $10 and it will have value and they will come back to it, they will learn and they will grow because that is their step of faith, becoming a member. Uh, so that way you weed out those who are just looky losers or just want to question me or say you're a false prophet and all that other stuff. We get to the people where I can get serious and really get down to the nitty gritty and teach the word for those that are hungry. So I am so excited that you're here uh, and that you're gonna, that you're checking out this video. Uh, tell your friends about it. Tell them to subscribe. You can uh, cancel your membership at any time. I don't know why you'd want to. I'm so much fun and I got so much to share. Um, and you can also email me at robinbremer at sbcglobal.net or comment under the videos uh, or on the page. And um, if there's something you would like to see, if you are an author, <coughs> Or you think you have something exciting about your business or ministry that you'd like to share? One of the things that I offer my VIPs is to be a guest blogger. So if you have something you want to share with, as long as it doesn't contradict what I share, um, you submit a post to me. And uh, also I like to do some guest interviews. So if you have a business and you'd like to share with other Vipers uh, about your business, uh, let's say you're a clown and... I'm a clown ventriloquist author and all kinds of other stuff. But so I can relate to the clowns and the ventriloquists. And I will have some special tools up here for them. God told me instead of selling it as a DVD to put each of them up here free for y'all to help your business. I have a special heart for the ventriloquists especially because I'm one and I love it. But anyway, um, I forgot where I was going. Oh, subscribe also to me on YouTube and you can get uh, a copy of my videos uh, my, all my other videos. I have about 400 teaching videos on there. So lots of tools. But I tell you, the VIP, it's heart to heart. Me to you. I'm hungry as you are hungry. And as God gives me revelation, I'm giving it to you. 
because I want you to walk in God's purpose. Per, his pers- I want you to pers- <laughs> I want you to walk in His purpose, His presence, His peace, and His power. So make sure you subscribe wherever the subscribe button is, and make sure you tell your friends about uh, what I have to share here, uh, and share not this because this is only for Vipers, but share some of my other videos and let your Facebook friends know about it because word of mouth is the best way to get this out here. So tell your friends that are hungry about my website and about my books and um, part of what you will have is you will have a free book once a month you will also have an opportunity to get it before it's published and to read it and then to submit to me your um, uh, review or your um, or what do they call it if some if you like the book and have something nice to say about it I will put your comments inside my book. So then you can actually say that, hey, look, this is a published book and I'm in it. <laughs> cool, huh? Okay, so that is it for today. Uh, I just want to pray for you real quick. Father, I just really thank you for my vipers. I am so excited to have vipers. I just pray for them. And in Jesus' name, I just release supernatural revelation about who they are in Christ and how much you love them and everything you've done for them. Thank you, Father. Keep them safe. Help them to walk in your purpose, your power, and your passion. In Jesus' name, amen. And I will talk to you next week.